Hello today's video we have the following content. Maggie Chun and Liu Yifei both play the role of Yellow Rose. One is naturally charming, the other is pure and refined. On the splendid stage of film and television, the fate between roles and actors is always wonderful. When the same role blooms with different brilliance under the interpretation of different actors in different eras, it always arouses the audience's infinite reverie. Yellow Rose, this role that is both charming and somewhat sad, presents completely different styles under the interpretation of Maggie Chun in the 1980s and Liu Yifei in the contemporary era, one is naturally charming, the other is pure and refined. The Hong Kong film and television industry in the 1980s was full of stars and beauties. Among these bright stars, Maggie Chun stood out with her unique charm. When the story of Rose was decided to be adapted into a film and television work, Maggie Chun became the first choice for Yellow Rose. Her beauty has both youthful vitality and mature charm. Whether it is the youthful exuberance in the early stage or the charming style in the later stage, it makes people fall in love with it. Maggie Chun's Yellow Rose is like a blooming rose, delicate and charming. Her eyes are full of stories, and every subtle expression reveals the inner world of the character. She used her acting skills to bring the role of Wang Mi to life, making the audience feel as if they were in that era and felt the joys, sorrows, anger and happiness of the character. The contemporary Liu Yifei has become the representative of the new generation of Wang Mi with her fresh and refined temperament. Liu Yifei's beauty is the kind of beauty that makes people unforgettable at first sight. Her facial features are delicate and her temperament is elegant, giving people a fresh and refined feeling. Her Wang Mi is like a breeze blowing, making people feel the freshness and purity of the character. Liu Yifei's Wang Mi shows more of the independence and freedom of modern women. She dares to love and hate, loves others first and loves herself, and every choice she makes is full of power. Her interpretation makes people feel that Wang Migi is not only a beautiful vase, but also a modern woman with thoughts, emotions and stories. Every look and every smile of hers makes people feel the rich emotions in the character's heart. The Wang Migi of the two actors has its own merits and charms. Maggie Chun's Yellow Rose is charming and charming, and her interpretation makes people feel the charm and style of the character, while Liu Yifei's Yellow Rose is elegant and independent and her interpretation makes people feel the power and beauty of modern women. Such a contrast not only makes people sigh at the passage of time, but also makes people sigh at the superb acting skills of the actors. They interpret the same role in different styles in their own way, allowing the audience to appreciate and feel the charm of film and television art. Of course, whether it is Maggie Chun or Liu Yifri, they are both excellent actors. They use their efforts and talents to present us with vivid characters and the role of Yellow Rose has become more colorful because of their interpretation. In the world of film and television, every character has its own unique charm. And the actors interpret these characters in their own way. Maggie Chun and Liu Yifei's Yellow Rose are two of the best examples. They interpret this role in different styles in their own way, allowing the audience to appreciate and feel the infinite possibilities of film and television art. Finally, let us look forward to more outstanding actors and works to bring us more wonderful film and television experiences. At the same time, let us thank those actors who present wonderful roles for us. It is their efforts and talents that allow us to travel freely in the world of film and television. Next news. The ratings won the championship, and the CCTV drama became popular. The biggest beneficiary was not the heroine Liu Yifri, but the female number 8. Liu Yifei is definitely the most difficult to replicate in the current Chinese drama circle. Born in 1987, she has stood at a high starting point since her debut. Her first TV series was the popular The Story of a Noble Family that year, which attracted the attention of countless viewers. The 16-year-old Liu Yifei, with a dub and score of 8.5, is still deeply imprinted in the youth memories of many post-90s and has become an unforgettable part of them. Since her debut, Although Liu Yifei has only 8 TV dramas, each of them has received a high score of more than 8 points, fully demonstrating her acting skills and strength. In addition to the Republic of China style in the story of a noble family, Liu Yifei's most popular dramas are almost all in ancient costumes. This earned her the reputation of fairy sister and became her unique synonym. Wang Yuai in Demigods and Semi-Devils, Zhao Linger in The Legend of Sword and Fairy, and Xia Longnu in The Return of the Condor Heroes. These characters are all unforgettable heroines in Jin Yong and the Legend of Sword and Fairy series. No matter which masterpiece or which character in it, it can be deeply engraved in the hearts of the audience with its unique beauty, making it unforgettable. However, since the broadcast of The Return of the Condor Heroes, Liu Yifei seems to have faded out of the world of TV dramas, 
as if she is invisible and no longer appears frequently. She has been involved in the film industry. Although there are excellent works every year, the audience's evaluation is up and down, like waves. Sixteen years have passed quickly, and she finally appeared on the screen again, showing her style and dream of Hulu, as if she was in another world. No one expected that at a time when costume dramas have long been declining, the Yu Yifui almost single-handedly made this drama popular. Time has not changed her face, and her elegant and refined temperament is still flowing. Liu Yifei's position in the ancient costume industry is unshakable, and she is a well-deserved leader. However, the appearance of Dream of Hulu is only Liu Yifei's initial attempt to return to the public's vision. At the age of 36, Liu Yifei resolutely removed the shackles of ancient costumes and embarked on a very subversive new journey. In 2023, we transformed into hard-working social animals and devoted ourselves to creating a masterpiece called Go Where the Wind Is. The rare small fresh style appeared on the screen and received a high score of 8.7 on Dubbin. Together with the former Kuang Hu and Three Body, they jointly created the peak of Word of Mouth. The glory of Go Where the Wind Is is just the starting point of our new journey. In 2024, she took a solid step again. The leading workplace drama The Story of Roses made a stunning appearance recently, which attracted widespread attention and heated discussions. Tencent only aired for 22 minutes before it quickly topped the popularity list, and CCTV's first broadcast ratings remained at the top of the ratings, showing strong appeal and influence. On Dubbin, 100,000 people participated in the review, and the five-star reputation continued to be praised. Some people commented that it was as good as this year's flowers. What kind of magic does this drama contain that can so firmly attract the attention of the audience and make it difficult for people to look away? Today, Brother Pi will go to this visual feast with you to explore this wonderful drama in depth. I can't wait to watch 10 episodes in one go. The heroine played by Liu Yifei is named Wang Yumi, nicknamed Rose. If life is like a tortuous road, and everyone's destination is the glorious city of Rome, then Wang Yumi seems to have stood on the golden road leading to Rome from the moment she was born. She is a senior student at the Central Academy of Fine Arts, with a beautiful and refined appearance, like a fairy descending to the earth. Since she was a child, she has been surrounded by many admirers, like the moon surrounded by stars. Her brother Wang Zhenhua founded a design company. Both of her parents are outstanding professors at Tsinghua University. The family background is prominent and full of a strong academic atmosphere. It can be said that they are a real famous family and a family of scholars. But even so, Wang Yimei's life is full of surprises. Everyone must not guess what kind of story such a person can have with her. But it just happens that things like to find the door. Three bad things seem to have no solution, but Wang Yimei just uses her three axes to solve them one by one. The first bad thing. Rose chose my brother's company for graduation internship. My brother entrusted her to his business partner to take care of her. Remember this name, his name is Zhou Shihu. Zhou Shihu's life can be said to be smooth sailing, his career is thriving, not only has luxury cars and mansions, but also has a beautiful and charming fiancé Guan Zhuzhu who has been with him for seven years. The relationship between the two is stable, and now it is the critical moment to tie the knot and enter the palace of marriage hand in hand. However, when Zhou Shihu first glimpsed the rose, he was deeply attracted to it and couldn't extricate himself. Just in front of the Civil Affairs Bureau, Zhou Shihu and his fiancée were about to leave the red mark that symbolizes eternity on the marriage certificate. However, at this critical moment, he suddenly hesitated and regretted it. I haven't stepped out of the house, but I was beaten up by my fiancé's girlfriends, causing my head to bleed and be in a mess. Brother Wang Zhenhu looked confused and asked in confusion, such a virtuous daughter-in-law, why haven't you married yet? Zhou Shihu looked at him with a meaningful look, as if he wanted to see through him. Wang Zhenhua was shocked and muttered in his heart, Could it be that you have taken a fancy to me? You guy, it's really speechless. A gripping drama is about to begin, let us look forward to this wonderful performance together. On this side, Zhou Shihu, holding a rose in his hand and wearing a neat suit, resolutely chased a rose's school and confessed to her with a burning heart. Even though her response had clearly and resolutely indicated rejection, he still adhered to the universal belief, my love is deep and pure, and its existence is only related to me, not you. Over there, Rose was mistaken for a mistress and was questioned by Guan Zhuzhu. A fierce quarrel broke out between the two, and the scene was in chaos. In this dispute, Rose was slapped by her mother, which was really sad. In order to solve this thorny problem, Rose specially invited Guan Zhuzhu to dinner and asked directly, 
He has treated you like this, why do you still miss him? Guan Zhushu is speechless and speechless after being refuted by these words. The firm self-confidence in her bones gave Guan Zhushu a deep understanding of love. The seemingly bloody fight between the mistress and the original wife also ended quietly under the might of this self-confidence. The second troublesome thing. Generally, this beauty trap is used by others for the target. But unexpectedly, Rose used the wisdom of her ancestors on herself. She successfully joined her company. The boss of the company wanted to make an appointment with a French boss to apply for an exhibition of his collection. But the boss's whereabouts were uncertain, there was no contact information, and it was impossible to make an appointment. The boss frowned, and Rose had an idea. He cleverly found out the information of the banquet hall used by the boss to hold the exhibition, cleverly used the name of renting the banquet hall, cleverly used the waiter as a cover, cleverly circumvented security checks, and successfully entered the scene. Just a moment to go to the toilet, Rose, who was wearing a black suit, had already turned gorgeously and dressed up to attend this luxurious party. She easily raised a glass and drank with the celebrities and elites present, chatting and laughing. In order to identify who was the real heavyweight, she quietly approached the waiter, listened carefully to the details of the champagne prepared for the important guests, and then followed him smartly. When she met the big boss, she introduced herself in fluent English and instantly captured the big boss's heart. She changed her clothes in a second and used her own beauty trap, but she recognized the wrong person. Rose had just started working and encountered two bad things. Fortunately, although I had mistaken Zhang Guodong for the famous big boss, he was actually the big boss's right-hand man. Such a misunderstanding can be regarded as a wonderful fate. Under his guidance, the business was finally successfully finalized. The third bad thing. Bathed in the praise of everyone since childhood, after experiencing a series of gorgeous feasts, Rose finally realized that she was also the shining little star in this dazzling galaxy. She fell in love and fell in love with Zhang Guodong at first sight. However, how can you be willing to be a weak star after being used to being the bright moon? Rose is a proud flower, so how can you take the initiative to chase others? It's really annoying. In order to win this first love, she asked her brother for help and supported three tricks. First, we have to cleverly create opportunities to meet. With her outstanding performance, she successfully applied to join the project team led by Zhang Guodong, and from then on she was able to work with him every day and write a new chapter of cooperation together. Second, retreat to advance. Rose did not reveal her interest in Zhang Guodong, but used small tricks to attract his attention. For example, Every day she carefully selected a set of unique and tasteful clothes to capture his eyes and make him stop for me. For example, deliberately contradicting him at the meeting to make him notice her existence. For example, whenever he sent me a message, I would always deliberately put it aside to create a sense of distance. Finally, it was time to tighten the net. Just when Zhang Guodong was overwhelmed by Rose's charm, Rose chose to go to Shanghai for official duties with ulterior motives, seemingly deliberately avoiding close contact with him. Zhang Guodong was restless because he could not see her and missed her day and night. After careful consideration, he finally plucked up the courage to send a condolence text message. As a result, the two quickly narrowed the distance and established their relationship. That night when they returned to Beijing, they were like dried fish encountering a clear spring, enjoying each other's warmth and love. It's so easy to take down a man. Family, career, love, Rose used three axes to resolve the crisis, make everything in order, and develop in a direction that is beneficial to herself. But there are still many tests to come, and Rose's story has just begun. Liu Yifei is beautiful, Wan Jin is sassy, Zhu Zhu is emotional, but I was firmly caught by the female number eight. The core of the work Rose's story is not only focused on the role of Rose played by Liu Yifei. Brother Pi D. Play feels that the drama's portrayal of contemporary urban women is particularly precious and worth savoring. The cast of the drama is strong, bringing together stars and drama bones such as Liu Yifei, Tong Dui, Lin Jinxin, Wan Jin, Huo Jianhua, Pen Guining, Lin Yi, Zhu Zhu, Lan Yingqin, Chen Yao, Wu Yufeng, Hao Changrong, etc. So the performance is almost impeccable. From the beginning to the 15th episode, there are four female characters that impressed Brother Pi. The first one is naturally Liu Yifei. It's really amazing that Liu Yifei is a unique actor and is indeed different. Her performance seems to be a work of art tailored for her, but it seems that there is no need for too much tedious carving. As long as she exists, even though seemingly illogical plot settings seem to become insignificant and can be ignored. 
That sister who is like a fairy is extremely beautiful, as if all the beauty in the world is concentrated on her, and other characters and scenes in the play are eclipsed by her. Although Liu Yifei's beauty is eye-catching, it does not mean that her acting skills are covered up. She also showed excellent acting skills, which should not be underestimated. Among the 85 flowers, Liu Yifei is the most special one. When she is quiet, she can have the most quiet beauty of women. And when she bursts out, the emotional appeal is huge. The crying scenes in Go Where the Wind Is are still fresh in people's memory. In the story of Rose, Liu Yifei burst out again. Under the misunderstanding of my mother, I was slapped in the face, and the image that appeared afterwards was messy hair, deep grievance in my eyes, and even a hint of madness. Such a contrast is impressive. This tear is enough to make people's heart tremble and hurt their hearts. With Liu Yifei, the basic plate of this drama is stable. The second is Zhu Zhu. Zhu Zhu has a kind of noble lady temperament. That is to say, she does nothing, as long as she stands there, she has the aura of an urban female boss. In the play, Zhu Zhu plays Rose's boss, the boss of the company. In the first confrontation, I listened to Rose's rambling, and I just responded coldly, you can leave. When he looked at others, his eyes were like a boss at the helm, revealing a condescending attitude, at the same time, he was like a shrewd boss, looking accurately with sharp eyes. Obviously, he is not an ordinary person. Under Rose's care, she was admitted to the hospital, and her attitude towards Rose took a 180 degree turn. The expression of the front and back feet went from questioning to recognition in one go. Even when she was weak, she had such a strong aura. She was the boss who was engaged in business. The third one was Wan Jin. Wan Jin played Rose's supervisor, a cold and storytelling career woman. Although she was vigorous and resolute in the company and had a bad face, behind the scenes, Wan Jin was tortured by her original family. In the dead of night, she had a nightmare about a painful experience. The fear and fear of waking up at that moment made people feel a little cold. The moment before, I was still like the domineering female boss, but the next moment, I suddenly felt extremely helpless and vulnerable. This should be a one-man show, and it is also one of the highlights of Wan Jin in this drama. Although she doesn't talk much and seems to be more introverted, her heart is passionate, full of warmth and care. Facing the surging gratitude of Rose, it was a bit awkward and stiff to avoid it, but she was able to accept it happily. Looking at her expression, is there a kind of cold cuteness? Except for Wang Jin, other people really can't act this feeling. Wang Jin Su Zhengcheng is one of the most individual and complex characters in this drama. Everyone will find surprises when they watch it later. Ranked fourth is Chen Yao who successfully attracted everyone's attention with her unique charm. To be honest, among many dazzling stars, Chen Yaro may not be particularly outstanding. However, the role of Bai Ziao she interpreted left an indelible impression on Pai Jia. Bai Ziao was just a hurried passerby in Wang's Hen Hua's blind date process, just like a supporting role on the stage, although short-lived, she also existed. If you really want to count, she may only be regarded as the eighth female in the play, plain and ordinary but also part of the story. However, her appearance unexpectedly snatched away a bit of Liu Yifei's style, making countless audiences immersed in the warmth like a spring breeze, feeling relaxed and happy. Chen Yao, who played such a fierce role as Yu Kilio, challenged a slightly dull, but elegant and graceful temperament, pure as a blind sheet of paper. Although she does not have the kind of stunning beauty that makes people's eyes shine, she exudes a bookish atmosphere and a weak state hidden in her bones, which makes people involuntarily have a strong desire to protect. In addition, Chen Yao has obviously done in-depth research on highly educated women. Compared with the emotional thinking shown by other women, Bai Ziao seems relatively dull and restrained, but this just adds a bit of special charm to her and becomes her plus point. The fun of dating is to recite a section of the periodic table. I suggested going to the laboratory to play with her, but she mistakenly thought that I wanted to play inside the laboratory. The deep academic atmosphere created by Chen Yao complements the role of Bai Ziao, adding a unique charm to her that is unforgettable. She is independent and confident, and her appearance seems cold, but she does not lose the tenderness unique to women. Chen Yao cleverly captured Bai Ziao's subtle and unique personality, and through a series of delicate and subtle interpretations, she showed her hesitation, embarrassing situation and inner loneliness vividly. Although Bai Ziao did not appear many times in the plot, Chen Yao gave her a vivid vitality, which made this character leave a deep impression on the audience. Speaking of the work Rose's story, the actress who benefited the most is undoubtedly Chen Yao. Her outstanding performance is impressive. 
It can be said that this work has added a lot of brilliance to her career. Pai Jia felt that her intuition told her that she was about to break free from the shackles of ancient idols and rush towards the throne of first-line actresses with a thunderous momentum. The future will definitely be bright. In addition to these four, the other female characters in the play are also very colorful. Guan Zhuzhu, played by Lan Yingyin, is free and easy. As soon as she appeared, she showed a unique temperament like a literary goddess. Han Ying, played by Zhang Yu, has a strong sense of purpose, knows what she wants and always goes all out. If we temporarily take our eyes off Liu Yifri, we will find that Rose's story does not belong to Rose alone. It is more like a wonderful picture that vividly depicts the life of the entire urban female group. In recent years, TV dramas with the theme of strong women in the workplace have emerged in an endless stream, but there are very few that can truly convey the correct values. Especially now, although many dramas have the elements of big heroine, they are essentially Mary Sue's cheating, and the bloody stories are the basis, which are not attractive. However, the story of Rose is unique, and its three characteristics are unprecedented in big heroine dramas. On the one hand, it gives the big heroine a unique connotation through a new perspective, making it present a unique charm. Rose, the protagonist of the story, although gives people the impression of a natural big heroine, after a deeper understanding, you will find that she also has an imperfect side. She is beautiful and moving, but she reveals an elusive casualness, which seems too free and unrestrained. Although she was born in a wealthy family and enjoys a good living condition, she seems to lack the perseverance to work hard and face difficulties. She is broad-minded, but she lacks the firm perseverance. However, who says that the role of the big heroine must be perfect? The story of Rose pursues this kind of flawed reality. A rose, although it exudes a charming fragrance, its sharp thorns are enough to hurt people. This is exactly the portrayal of life, with beauty and pain coexisting, making people both yearn for and fear. This also indicates that Wang Yimui will carry many labels and internal contradictions. As a human being, it is inevitable to have defects, and making mistakes is also normal. This is even more true for Rose. She has entered the society since graduation and started as a grassroots intern. In the process of hard work, it is even more difficult to guarantee that there is no fault. The most fascinating part of the play is its profound portrayal of Rose's personality, rather than simply narrating her experience. This is a clear self-awareness, knowing what you want in your heart, having the calmness to take it up and put it down, not complaining about the world, working silently, carrying that courage and tenacity, and the ambition to be professional is obvious, and never give up. Just like after she started a love song with Zhang, her brother was full of worries, do you feel that he is disrespectful to your taking advantage of you? She retorted nonchalantly, I took advantage of him, and I haven't taken enough advantage of him. Compared with other dramas with female protagonists, this level of cognition is like a bright star hanging high above the atmosphere, which is particularly dazzling. Secondly, I did not only focus on the portrayal of the protagonist, but also strived to make every supporting role go deep into the core of the story and weave a more colorful story world together. After careful consideration, I found that the female characters in the story of Roses all showed the demeanor of big heroines without exception. After being betrayed by Zhou Shihu, Guan Zhuxia resolutely gave up the deep feelings that lasted for seven years. During the blind date with Wang Zhenhua, Bai Ziao opened her heart frankly and expressed her true thoughts without concealing anything. Zhu Zhu, who was having a good chat with foreign friends, was deeply discussing the business opportunities of cross-border cooperation, and her words and deeds revealed extraordinary business wisdom. Su Zhengchen, an individual who always maintains a professional spirit, never lets emotions penetrate into her work. The image of the big heroine is by no means stereotyped, and her style is also diverse and rich. In love, family, life, work. Every place is looking forward to the shining appearance of the big heroine. The image of the big heroine is not limited to those weak white lotuses who are forced into despair by cheating husbands and mean mothers-in-law, and then prove their own value through unremitting efforts. She should be a model of tenacity, independence and self-reliance. No matter what kind of difficulty she faces, she can break out with wisdom and courage and show her true self-strength. We should uphold consistent independence and tenacity, not rely on anyone's protection, have firm self-assertion and distinct independent personality, this is the real female style. The story of Rose has set a model for us with its unique intention, allowing us to draw inspiration from it. In the end, we deeply analyzed the internal structure of the family and dismantled the human nature contained in it.
Women, no matter where they go, are ultimately beings with independent souls and infinite possibilities. They are not only the embodiment of gentleness, but also the symbol of tenacity and strength, and have the same dignity and value as men. They play multiple roles in life, they are mothers, daughters, wives, and friends, but they are first of all themselves, and they are unique. Therefore, let us respect every woman, appreciate their beauty and wisdom, and praise their efforts and contributions, because they are also precious treasures of this world. In this work, there is a hidden clue throughout, although many viewers may not have noticed it, but in fact it is an in-depth analysis of family and human nature. This clue quietly unfolds, leading us into a world full of emotional entanglements and human struggles, and giving us a deeper understanding of family and human nature. The reason why roses are unique and become roses is because of the love of parents, which is unique and different from others. I always adhere to a rigorous attitude to every detail of Wang Yumi, but I never step into her private territory without authorization and the name of so called for her good and respect her personal space and privacy. Postgraduate entrance exams are not a hard requirement, work is not a mandatory task, and love does not need to be urged. Parents always have a sense of boundaries with their daughters, but they never miss the company, which is precious for parents. In comparison, Zhang Guadong's original family is very bad. His parents divorced early and quarreled when they met, which made him feel insecure about his relationship. Although I have changed girlfriends frequently, I have never been able to muster up the courage to truly establish a stable relationship. He always sticks to himself and uses personal needs and unique judgment as a guide for action. This precise pursuit of self-interest undoubtedly demonstrates his characteristics as a highly rational egoist. Therefore, his fate with Rose is destined to be shallow and he cannot go hand in hand. This point actually explains the root of the growth of the heroine. A good family, a pair of parents who are good at accompanying and listening, and willing to pour love into their children, are most likely the prerequisites for becoming a heroine. Everyone is paying attention to how the heroine grows up, but few people focus on the reasons for their growth. A person who cannot appreciate the true meaning of love is doomed to be unable to perform the glorious chapter of the heroine. A person who only cares about his own gains and losses and ignores the interests of others will not be able to achieve a brilliant career or a happy marriage. The so-called heroine is, in the final analysis, a positive dismantling of human nature, a correct expression of love, and a correct shaping of the three views. This is also the biggest gain after watching this drama. There is no doubt that after abandoning the ancient costume image, the Yu Yifui has successfully explored a new path for domestic dramas and opened up an unusually broad road for actresses. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,